Europe brings together different cultures and identities. The integration of local growth in the global world begins in the cities. European Metro Network connect places with different histories, politics and heritages, resulting in more accessible worlds, more integrated economies and nearer cultures. One of the dreams of the Fathers of Europe is coming true. Cities as stations, all part of a single network. The European Union is growing and competing in the world, safeguarding its cultural and natural heritage. This forward-looking policy entails an important United Nations decision. In the course of COP21, the Paris 2015 Climate Conference, the Member States shared a key objective. Let's continue the efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees. Trains are the main players, developing a more ecological and sustainable transport culture. The new European Railway Network is under construction. It crosses countries and overcomes barriers like the Alps. Since Hannibal's times, the Alpine Arc has been a natural obstacle for the passage of people and goods. Now there are means, structures and technologies for overcoming it. Europe can make it through seven Alpine base tunnels. The Semmering, the Koralm, the Brenner, the Gothard, the Chenery, the Luchberg and the Montchenis, the turin Leon Tunnel. These projects mark the future of all countries which have signed the Alpine Convention. Each of these countries is committed to a sustainable transport policy to reduce the environmental impact. Trains satisfy this requirement for goods and passenger transport, especially now that new generation infrastructures allow trains to travel as in a plane, even if in mountainous areas. The same principle is in the new Turon Leon base tunnel. The historic line does not satisfy the current international transport standards. The actual railway is a steep line causing relevant limitations to the train's circulation. Firstly, the high energy expenditure, because the trains are forced to climb to over 1,300 meters with two or three locomotives. It costs 40% more than a plane line. Furthermore, the curvy line through the heart of the Alps limit the speed of the trains greatly. That's the reason why there's a new project. The new turin Leon line will assure a great contribution to the future. Every year, there will be carbon dioxide savings equal to up to the annual production of a city of 300,000 inhabitants. It will allow 1 million trucks per year to be taken off the road. Most of the line will be mainly through tunnels, limiting the impact on the landscape. Taking care of the environment is the driving force behind the realization of the project. For this reason, the construction sites are constantly monitored. Continuous data analyses and constant monitoring of the environmental quality are performed in Italy and in France under the control of the regional and national environmental protection bodies. The turin Leon line is the central link of the Mediterranean corridor that connects 18% of the European population and 17% of European GDP, with 3,000 kilometers of railway lines for the transportation of passengers and goods. It contributes to the development of ports, airports, freight terminals and goods centers integrated in the networks. With the new line, travelers will save time both internationally and regionally. With the new network, traveling from one European capital to another will take the same amount of time that it currently takes to cross our cities. Europe is being redesigned, new routes are being opened, a true shared home is being built. And we are looking towards the future and to the great international scale because Russia and Asia are also building high-speed railway lines which form the new Railway Silk Road. The connection of these lines with the European network will create a sort of Eurasian metropolitan line. This network will make European citizens even more citizens of the world.